again with a half twist to regress right into an Ezova. It's such a difficult skill, isn't it? Such a difficult sequence. It is so true to pack Salto. Sometimes when the uh, gymnast loses their grip on the app. Bars. Uprise Stalder Kachev. Oh. Well, Elizabeth Seitz coming off the apparatus and uh, consequently 13.699 for Motat. We'll come back to that as Sarah Petter's hands go down as she lands her first vault. She's the eighth strongest from qualification. She went for the double twisting Yurchenko as we've seen from her in the European event final before. And this vault, unfortunately, didn't get the block that she needs to really set up the twist. As a result, has to touch her hands down. She came off quite high on the horse, really reached back and got a block off the back of the horse, which is not necessarily ideal for setting that vault up and being able to really go for the twist and spot and open out, go for a really good landing. Bronze medalist at the European Games. Her first international honours. Been competing recently at the Hungarian event championships where she was a silver medalist on this apparatus. Twelve point nine six six, the opening score for Sharapeta, and that's compared to a fourteen point zero six six from qualification. Now, in qualification, her second vault was a difficulty value of 4.4, a whole mark lower than the first. Going for something higher this time. And again, for Charlotte Petter, it's a difficult landing, a more uncomfortable one, and one hopes that all is well, that she just rather gingerly makes her move away from the podium. the height nor the what we call block the push through her shoulders to set up the after flight it looks like her hands even skidded a little bit as she came onto the table so really just was not able to get the take on 2020 but didn't make the final this her first final in apparatus gymnastics at the european championships and regrettably for the full strongest qualifier it has not happened First occasion, regrettably, in this. And her shoulders just get a little bit out of alignment with the balance beam. I think that angle really illustrates what kind of a contact that was. That really is just incredible.